Hi there. The transatlantic Titanic was the largest ship of its time, but its life was very short. The first and only voyage of the ship began April 10, 1912, and ended four days later. This tragedy occurred on the night of April 14th through the 15th, 1912. When the Titanic crashed, at least 1,496 people died, making this disaster one of the largest shipwrecks in history. Among the passengers of the ship were some of the richest people in the world, as well as immigrants from Ireland, Great Britain, and Scandinavia, who were heading to the United States in search of a better life. The Titanic was built on the latest technology, providing a high level of safety for the vessel, but due to insufficient requirements, the ship had lifeboats for only 1,178 people, which was two times less than the number of people on board. Here is an interesting fact about the construction of the ship. Five people were required to drive only one rivet. It was hellish work. One person heated the rivet in the furnace until it was hot. Then the heated rivet was placed in the hole where two people held the rivet on one side while on the other side, two people started beating it with heavy hammers. From the blows, the rivet expanded and held the sheets together. It took these guys four minutes to complete the work with one rivet. But in 1912, the workers had to meet this demand within 20 seconds. The deadlines were tight and only strong guys were able to do such work. After all, there were three million rivets on the Titanic. The ship began its journey from Southampton, England, then proceeded to France and Ireland, and from there went to America. But the journey was soon interrupted when the Titanic crashed into an iceberg. The collision caused damage to the ship, and the ship began to sink. After two and a half hours, it was completely underwater. The collapse of the Titanic agitated the whole world, not only because of the large number of victims, but also because of the mistakes made during the catastrophe. Public research was conducted in the United States and England, and a list of changes in ship safety standards was provided. The wreckage of the Titanic was lost for a long time at the bottom of the ocean, but they were discovered on September 1, 1985 at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean at a depth of 12,415 feet. Thanks to this, it was possible to extract many valuable things from the seabed. These exhibits are stored in various world museums. The Titanic is possibly the most famous ship in history. The memory still lives on, thanks to numerous films, books, songs, and exhibitions dedicated to this liner. But although everyone knows the history of Titanic, there are secrets that almost no one has heard. The first departure of this ship for navigation was under threat. In England, the miners began a strike, demanding higher wages. How is this related to the Titanic? It simply did not have enough coal for the furnaces, because coal had stopped being mined. The tickets cost a lot of money, and almost all had already been sold out. People handed over tickets purchased on other ships to buy the coveted piece of paper, which cost many lives. And for the cheapest ticket, you had to give only two pounds of sterling. This is about $86 in modern money. It is worth noting that most of the tickets that were sold were for two pounds of sterling for the third class. These tickets made up the main profit for the Titanic because almost every worker could afford such a ticket. The most expensive ticket for the Titanic was worth about $30,000 of today's money. The management understood that in no case should the voyage be canceled so that people would not demand their money back, because part of the money from the sold tickets was used to buy all the coal that remained in the mines throughout the country and on all of the ships that canceled their trips due to the shortage of passengers from the competition of the Titanic. As a result, the liner safely began to take on passengers. The last surviving passenger of the Titanic died in 2009 at 97 years old. Her name was Milvina Dean, and she was two and a half months old when the ship sank. She was the youngest passenger of the Titanic. The girl traveled with her parents and brother. 
Her family sold all her property in England and wanted to open a tobacco shop in the United States. But her father died in the shipwreck, and the surviving family members were forced to return to England. Disgraced Japanese Masabumi Hosono was the only Japanese aboard the Titanic. He worked as a government official in the Japanese Ministry of Transport. When the ship began to sink, the man managed to get onto one of the few rescue boats that were intended primarily for children and women. When this story became known, he was awaited by shame in his native country. He lost his job and was condemned by all his countrymen. This shame was so serious that when the Titanic film was released, the Masabumi family published a letter in the press apologizing for the act of their relative, although the man himself was no longer alive. But there were also heroes on the Titanic. On board the Titanic was only one Mexican, Deputy Manuel Uruchurtu, who traveled to Paris. At the time of the shipwreck, the Mexican politician gave up his place to a woman who told him that in New York, she was waiting for her husband and son. The only thing that Manuel asked in return was that the woman visit his wife and tell her about his last minutes. He died that terrible night, and the surviving passenger visited his widow in 1924, 12 years after the tragedy. She would later admit that in fact that at the time of the shipwreck, she did not have children or a husband. The downfall of the Titanic was predicted. 14 years before the Titanic tragedy, Morgan Robertson wrote a novel entitled Futility or The Wreck of the Titan. This book tells about the largest ship of that time, which collided with an iceberg in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean on a cold April night. This ship in this story was called Titan and was very similar to Titanic, even in the picture. Therefore, many ask the question, was it a coincidence or a prediction of the future? In our lifetime, a group of researchers for over 30 years has carefully studied the materials about the loss of the Titanic and, at the end of 2016, they made a sensational statement. It turned out that the cause of the disaster was not only an iceberg. In fact, the catastrophe was indeed predetermined in many respects in advance. The fact is that before the ship entered the voyage, an event occurred that later played an important role during the crash. A few days before the Titanic's fateful departure, a fire broke out in one of its fuel depots. The captain of the ship was well aware of this problem, but he decided to handle it on his own. After all, the prestige of the most luxurious, huge, and beautiful ship of its time was at stake. The crew fought the fire on their own for several days, and when the Titanic arrived at the port, it was moved to the shore on the other side, so the passengers could not see the soot and charred paint. Traces of soot were clearly visible in many photographs, but until that moment, no one had paid attention to the fire that had happened. The ship was on the move and seemed completely serviceable and invincible. Because of the flames, the temperature inside the compartment reached 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. The metal of the ship lost its elasticity and became brittle. Under normal conditions, a collision with an iceberg would not have caused such fatal damage, but unfortunately, the blow happened at just the most weakened place. The Titanic cannot get out of the ocean. Have you ever wondered why the Titanic has still not gotten out of the water? It could be turned into a museum or an attraction and get a lot of money. But the wreckage of the ship cannot be lifted from the bottom, as they are badly damaged and will break apart during any movement. In addition, the process of destruction continues. Surprisingly, when the ship was discovered in 1985, it was in fairly good condition due to the high pressure at the depth and a lack of light. Where the Titanic was located, there was a lot of living creatures that slowed down the corrosion process. However, everything changed a few years ago when a bacteria appeared to begin to destroy the metal. It is surprising that no one has ever discovered this bacterium. Yes, a previously unknown bacteria is eating away at Titanic and turning it into waste, which the ocean will soon swallow. This is why the Titanic cannot be recovered. Now that you know these stories, 
Write in the comments what you think about it. And don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.